after the United States elections, a lot of prophets need to be explaining themselves. You know, Someone that just won now will be impeached. The person I see ruling America is a woman. The person that is vice will become president. Right. You know, this is what the Lord said. He said, Kamala Harris is the next president of the USA. Therefore, do not ask me for grace. Do not pray for mercy or ask me for grace. I will have no more mercy on the United States. I will not change the course of events. America, you have a conundrum. If you say that the that the messages that are meticulously documented over a long period of years and written down in public if you say that all that intricate material is my doing then you must glorify me for every single one that fulfills okay you're highly welcome to the end time truth television now remember those intro that you have heard we're going to discuss about them um I decided to be very careful in talking about the viral videos of Suleiman Johnson. Not that I'm afraid of Suleiman Johnson. I'm not afraid of anybody. All right. But I just didn't want to do something that at the end of it, I will be found to be a liar. And some persons will even think that I have some form of hatred for Suleiman. So I decided to do some form of research. Now, I became skeptical because every other person who have been posting that where he said that the woman that the one he saw ruling america is a woman everybody posting it has made it very short so i decided to do something i will tell you what i, I found out but at the end of the day it is still potentially about to fail because what i i found out is almost not gonna happen except except maybe in the next few few months may it happens tomorrow before the end of the year but at the end of the day, the prophecy is also about to fail. All right, you won't get it until you have listened to what I'm about to disclose to you, disclose to you in this video. America is their target, but the president is their obstacle. America should not joke with the next election because they all will submit, they all will support the opponents of the current president. Before I go further, let me say this. The Lord gave me a prophecy last year or so, or two years ago, that Trump will not be re-elected. And I was worried. I said it. I've been worried. I've been praying. And the Lord spoke to me that anything the Lord tells us is to intercede. We should pray and change that. We should pray and change it. Because if that happens, the world is finished. If that happens, that the president, current president of America doesn't come back, the world is finished. But I saw that, and God prayed, told me we should pray to the general. Because they will also call it his opponent. The opponent is not the issue, but his running mate is. The running mate is a lady, and if the opponent wins, the opponent will be impeached for the lady to take over. Their current agenda is to humiliate him. They have succeeded in making him mockery in America while they are now free from it. But the prayers of the saints will pass it and America will be healed. That was actually the root of the, the next video that I want to show you. You will hear him talking about this same thing, this, this same prophecy here in that video that has been circulating all over the place now but if you ask me there are there are certain things that we also need to point out from this prophecy number one was is that uh, trump actually stayed away from office for four years and the world didn't finish now somebody may want to point out to me the words that have been happening around i don't know if you are saying that even if trump was there that if the wars were bound to happen that trump would stop them but the world did not finish and again he said the lord told him that they should pray about it now uh maybe he didn't pray or the prayer was not enough so that was why eventually um it it happened so at the end of the day somebody may point out to one or two things that happened to trump and will say well 
at least that that one fulfilled you know the american government um trying to humiliate uh trump he, we know what he went through actually in the within this space of four years that he has been out of office now so i will i will like i will leave this one to you for you to determine what happens but then the next video that you will hear you know uh, you will see is that of uh, uh, a parliamentarian in equatorial guinea issuing an order to suleiman asking him to stay away from their country that he must never return to their country now let us listen to him you want to preach Jesus, you want to preach about the elections, you want to preach about what is happening in America. Have you feeling with Nigeria that, 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 is, that is engaging a lot of problems all over? So you want to talk about the elections in America? Can you talk about elections in Nigeria? What's pained me is that you are, you are leading a congregation of millions of people, and people are believing you. Look at you now for that message. Look at you. In the ancient days, they're supposed to stone you to death. Why? Because you are lying in the name of God. Who saw you that vision? We, we are not beginning to understand that those miracle money are not miracle money. Peter will be his right. He's supposed to be in jail now and prove to people where do that money came from. My friend, my advice to you is that don't come back to Equatorial Guinea. Don't come back here. We don't need you. Because the pollutions, all those things that you are teaching people, you are saying in Nigeria, you are now going to, to Nigeria becoming too small for you. You are now going to Cameroon. You go, even come to Equatorial Guinea. You land your plane in the airport and to come and teach people about this rubbish. How can a man of God be lying like this? It's a lie. That's what Jesus said. What they are, what their actions, what the actions, you will know them. You will know the full prophet. So you are, you are one of them now. We can see you clearly. With these Trump elections, Trump win. Kamala Harris, you said Trump he hate people. Kamala Harris, he denied Jesus in public, in presence of millions of people. He said Jesus is not the Lord. Jesus is not a king. And you are supposed to be that woman. Now I saw that woman. You didn't say anything. You are just lying, my friend. I'm just lying. I am the member of the parliament of Equatorial Guinea. I said, don't come back here. You are lying. You can come back here unless you want to come and teach people about Jesus. A lot of people in this country to know Jesus. Come on, no, come on, but don't bring your prophecies and you are RNG miracles. We don't need you for all this rubbish. We don't need you. This man from South Africa, I say this one, I announce this one. You are all lying. Again, again, now the candid question to ask ourselves is: Was um, Suleiman actually did Suleiman actually say? that Hamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris was going to win this election. I've not seen any video suggesting to that, su suggesting that. Please, if you see, if you have seen, that there is a recent video where Suleiman prophesied that Kamala Harris was going to be the, the winner of this election. Please kindly let me know. Quite understandably, everybody is visibly angry because of what some careless wishes have done and have turned the church into now but i am of the opinion that uh we also should be coming down we shouldn't just be bashing everybody like i said that prophecy that he gave is about to fail but that video is not in the light of this present election i will explain if you are if you are if you are patient enough you will get to understand all right now I went on to do some other search and I found out that that video, this same one that you all of you have been seeing, was not actually a recent video. There is the recent one. Listen, what I want to declare again, go and tell Suleiman, I'm not doing this because I, I need his favors. Because of those that I don't know how you reason that we come here and say, I am now, you know, trying to be nice to Suleiman. No, it's not true. But like I have always said, I don't have any, any permanent camp. I just have to set the record straight. So what I'm doing here now is what I would have done for for my father if my father was a prophet and he's been misquoted. All right? But at the end of the day you would understand in in you know perfect way what this video is set to do. So listen in context what Suleiman said and when he said it. If you, in, if you watched the Fire and Miracle 9th of March, I actually mentioned that the running mate would be a woman. 
and I said, as at that time, there was no running mate. There was no running mate. And the truth is, in the history of America, only three women, in fact, two women, have been running mates. So people insulted me as usual, as they're even insulting me now. And I'm enjoying it. Now, no, no, no. My skin is so, is tozo. My skin is so thick. So thick. There are some people that have issues with themselves, not me. They react at everything. They, are, they have problems. They have their problems. Only three. One of them was a woman over 30 years ago, and the other was a lady called Sarah, Sarah Pollen. This one is the same. So it wasn't normally possible. They say it's not possible. It's not possible for a lady to be running mate. It's not possible. So when the Lord said that, and the Lord said that the, the person would win, and I'm even saying the one that is to happen later now. The, the person that just won now will be impeached. The person I see ruling America is a woman. The person that is vice will become president. Write it down. But I will say this so abuse like abuse me, insult me, miss nothing. America has made the biggest mistake. One year, they will start missing this man. One year, they will start calling for him. One year. And I see them planning to arrest him as his living presidency. Just one year. The fact that a prophet prophesied something about somebody doesn't mean the prophet is happy with the prophecy. You must understand it. People don't understand. Oh, why is this? It's, it's God. Personally, if I can change it, I would have changed Personally. So don't think that the prophecy came from a man of God means that the man of God is in support of the prophecy. No. Even that's how to know it's God. Because even what you don't want, he will say it. Even what you are not happy about, he will say it. Amen. The truth is this. The church of God needs to be alive. Because, look, at okay, the Lord said something, it came to pass. It is, the, it is we believers that should spread it. Look at what God has done. A prophecy confirmed. Because the, if in the world, if it's something contrary, they will spread it. But Christians will not spread this one. We are so weak. We are so weak. Why do you have your social media? Why do you have your social media? Why do you have your Instagram? Why do you have your Facebook? Is to announce what God is doing. But if something negative, trust me, the world will fire it. Some of my sons who are not even, who are politicians, they said, Papa, this one will spread it. This morning I saw my phone, I saw it on newspaper. They put it there. They said, since they know how to make bad mouth, this one we will spread it. Or the videos, we will spread it. Anybody that is angry, sir, we will keep spreading it. Let's, let's stand for what God is doing. We we'll stand their ground. Whatever God is doing, let's announce it. When they know that we are serious, they'll slow down. But recently somebody came back and abused someone, abused somebody who abused a man of God. Didn't you say everybody kept quiet? Everybody kept quiet. Fear came on people. Now there have been so many people who have been bashing Suleiman on this from very dark black man. You know, everybody. And mind you, Apostle Arabel side that you heard his voice there did not make mention of anybody. There is a message he was preaching before he got into that. So we are going to discuss everything in this video. Meanwhile, some persons have written under the, uh, the celestial video that I uploaded and they said I didn't hear well that what uh, Celestial said was that Kamala Harris was the next American president that she didn't say she was going to win the presidential election. And I think that it made, yeah, you know, the thing made sense anyway. There is some sense in it. So we're going to wait probably till the end of this term. He had tenure in office with Joe Biden. If probably nothing happens to Donald Trump, we don't prefer anything to happen to him. But for that to be fulfilled, now, something drastic may have to happen, but God forbid. All right, welcome to End Time to Television. Let us go in there. You are welcome 
to the end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom i've seen people in the flesh claiming that they are walking by faith he has never met with the holy ghost but he claims he walks by faith because he can, he can confess scripture I think we need to redefine faith. Faith is not, it's not your human will. In fact, there are positions you sustain that the Holy Spirit will not be willing to impart faith into your spirit. You are not with me. The other day, we were being taught faith and the teacher said, if you say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and you do not doubt in your heart you will have what you see and then the teacher now told us he said if english language means very dark black man first posted this same one this same one now that you are you have seen and when he posted it you know people like very dark black man cannot be arrested by suleiman because Suleiman obviously will not be able to contain what that that boy would do to him. All right, they chose their victims. Okay, so what they did was they they brought out the one he did recently, and that one he did re recently spoke actually about Donald Trump. But before we go into that, now Suleiman was saying immediately shortly after. The Americans voted Joe Biden and Kamala Harris into office. Suleiman said that it won't take time before the number two be becomes number one. Now, just like they were telling us in Nigeria at that time, during the days of um, of Oshibanjo, Buhari, Denobi, and Atiku, and Tinubu, you know, they also said this, Tinubu Suleiman as well also said, that he didn't even see an election happening many of them said the same thing the election came you know went by Oshin Banjo I mean finished his, his tenure Buhari finished his tenure I don't even know where Oshin Banjo is now and the the funny thing is that he told his people to write this down so maybe they are still counting days for Kamala Harris to eventually become number two because he said the man that was given the mandate the mandate was going to be impeached i do not know if that is still going to happen but anyways we are still waiting in the next few months joe biden would have done his tenure in office and uh, will would come down so if between now and that time this fulfills then we will know that suleiman prophesied under the influence of the holy spirit if it fails then he is a false prophet, fake one, original fake prophet. While, uh, while I was on the verge of uh, making this video, I, I saw a news alert uh, allegedly that Biden has been told to resign and install VP Kamala Harris as first female president. Uh, the former communications director for Vice President Kamala Harris, Jamal Simmons, had suggested that President Joe Biden should step down to allow Harris to serve as the first female president. He said that Joe Biden's been a phenomenal president. He's lived up to so many of the promises he's made. There's one promise left that he could fulfill. Being a transitional figure, Simon said on CNN's uh, State of the Union. Now, so somebody is um, advocating that Biden should voluntarily re resign so that Kamala Harris will make history even if she would have to be a 30-day president uh, at least as long as she is the first ever female president of the United States of America now if this ever happens I know still some person will come and say hey, hey, did we not say it did the prophets prophets not prophesy them well let us wait okay even if it happened uh, if it happens, we will know. If if they don't happen, all I'm saying is that few months more, the prophecies both of Kamala, of um, Celestial, and this of Suleiman 
we will come to know what happened, who lied, and who told the truth. Now, uh, another thing is that, like I said, once they saw that black man, you know, when he did that, they uploaded this other one that has a date on it. Listen to what he said. He's not a perfect person, don't get me wrong, okay? Everybody have their challenges. But who is? Shock him. And I just told somebody, I said, America has just seen the winner of the election. Because by this action, that man has won. People that are on the fence have already endorsed him now. When you hate people so much, you push them into acceptance. Stop wasting your emotion. Never dislike who you don't know one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody in this life can determine the outcome of your destiny. So, but you know, my, my confusion about it is that as God become flippant, if God has something, somebody else in mind, and just because there was an attempt on Donald Trump's life, God flipped and he changed his mind, even though, even though uh, I was not planning for Trump to be the president. But because people have shown that they hated him, so I, God, I'm changing my mind. I don't know the place of that in God because God is eternal. And there is something that Aaron Mosai said in this video that I completely agree. And I've been saying that, that God is not a parrot. God is not a talkative. God is a king and kings speak few words. Any king that speaks that, 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 ah, nah, 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 nah. He, he will soon die because he will reveal the secret of his throne and where his life, you know, the secret of, of, of his life, where his life lies. And he will be killed. So our God is a king. He doesn't just speak just for speaking sake. But so many of these people are beginning to turn God into a parrot. And I don't understand why and how. Now, you see, I believe that God is involved in the process of producing leaders uh my own understanding is that i don't think that god after creating this world just hands off and is no longer in the process of you know directing people's affairs the bible says that the the you know the heart of the king is in the hands of the lord and he directs it to wherever he wills all right so now but my problem is this why will these pastors and prophets be competing over who will be the one to get these things? Some, some are even challenging themselves. Come, if you are a prophet, let us prophesy English premiership. <laughs> and I will get all of them and no prophet will come near me. Now, so the thing has become a child's play. Now, and somehow you look at it, it's like permutation. Now, some of them will follow the trend. Some of them will follow the, you know, the um, opinion votes of researchers being to the elections, finding out the mindsets of people. So they follow that trend. When Kamala Harris was trending, almost all of them, they were going for Kamala Harris. Even Iginla, but Iginla in, in the middle of the road, be, be, you know, be, became floppy. He, he was ne neither here. Now there, so that when the team fails, you will not pin anything on him. I think that was being smart. But you know, like I asked, what is the essence of all these things? Why would people be 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 doing all, the, all these things? There is no other thing. It's just to score importance in the mind of the people that they are talking to. But then I ask myself, your so-called prophet gave a prophecy once. It failed twice. It failed thrice. It failed. Number four, it failed. And you are still believing him that he's a prophet sent by God. Mumu like you, eh? you know the market. Mumu like you know the market. Uh, if you want to know what is Mumu, ask Google. Google will tell you what is Mumu. All right? Because I don't, I don't understand. Now, in the olden days, in the, in the Old Testament, there is actually a penalty for... A prophet that said the Lord told him something and it turned out to be lies. The the penalty in those days was death. Well, anyways, now when you heard Aaron Mosai say that many of the prophets had to begin to explain themselves. Now, it is true. Majority are beginning to give reasons. Uh, this was what happened. That was what. And you know, it is not new. It is something that you have come to get used to. 
Listen to Apostle Arumosai. I've seen people in the flesh claiming that they are walking by faith. He has never met with the Holy Ghost, but he claims he walks by faith because he can, he can confess scripture. I think we need to redefine faith. Faith is not, it's not your human will. In fact, there are positions you sustain that the Holy Spirit will not be willing to impart faith into your spirit. man. You are not with me. The other day, we were being taught faith and the teacher said, If you say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and you do not doubt in your heart, you will have what you say. And then the teacher now told us, he said, if English language means anything, it means whosoever can get whatsoever. I took off. You know I like such things. And then I went to the car shop. You see, I don't know if you have seen the selection of BMWs that just came out. They look like this. The teacher said what? Whosoever can get whatsoever, except especially if you do not doubt. So the way out, the way is, oh, BMW. <laughs> no one will be able to buy you until I get the money to purchase you in the name of Jesus. That was the first car that was sold. <laughs> I don't know if God will permit me to tell you of the angel that stands by my right hand. Anytime he comes, he comes like 4 a.m. in the morning. I will never prophesy publicly until that angel comes. The moment that angel comes, I know that those things are already solved in heaven, settled in heaven. May you not be found prophesying on issues that have not been settled in heaven. <laughs> After the United States elections, a lot of prophets need to be explaining them, saying, no, <laughs> when I said yellow, I actually mean, meant purple. Oh. May the Lord give you understanding. May the Lord. <laughs> God is not a talkative. He's not a talkative. They are hidden things. It's not for everybody. If you, have not, if you have not been given the privilege to ride on the search facility of the spirit, to see things, keep quiet. I saw someone on Facebook this afternoon. I just wanted trying seriously to explain why the, prof, the thing failed. Why not just apologize and say, oh, sorry, I, I missed it. You are, you are creating more sin for, for yourself. And you are making yourself unfit to even see any other revelation. Come to the people and tell them, you know, we are all learning. <laughs> and you will bail, <laughs> you, you will bail yourself. <laughs> and you will be honorable in their sight. You will still have the authority to prophesy tomorrow. Oh my God. You can't access it in the flesh. What it means is that you, you had no intercourse with the Holy Ghost. That's what it means. I never, I didn't touch the Holy Ghost on this matter. Just apologize. May the Lord give you understanding. Meanwhile, we have um, a man, popular but not so popular. He's not uh, very noisy, you know, who actually specifically, specifically said something about this election. Now, if that was a prediction, if that was a prophecy, I do not know. But eventually, it was direct. He was not was not beaten about the bush, as per who the Lord selected or who the Lord has chosen in this election. Listen to him. None of him. It's Donald Trump. The Lord chose Donald Trump. By the way, yes, it's the Lord, and I hope Mr. Trump is listening. I've sent a message before. It's don't listen to this good old bishop. I'm just that speaker. You know that, that gadget. The one who's talking through this is the Lord. So Mr. Trump, the Lord loves you. And the Lord has chosen you 
Hold on to him. Don't worry about all those evil doers. The Lord has taken care of all of them one by one. Trust in the Lord. And um, Mr. Trump, when you are in the White House, uh, I'll expect an invitation. Not for anything, I'd like to have a cup of tea with you in the White House. Hello, Khabib Albi. So in a nutshell, uh, Suleiman's prophecy, the one that has been, uh, you know, has been trending, is not, was not something that he did recently. It was done three years ago. But then, the content is also looking like something that will fail. So like I said, we will keep our fingers crossed. Uh, if eventually Kamala Harris becomes the president of the USA, I will return to make another video and apologize to Celestial for, you know, mishearing her according to the people who were trying to, to correct me in the comment section. I appreciate that, that she didn't say uh, that God told her she was going to win the election, but that she will become the next president. But you know, we are, we are, we are so used to this. That was what, what happened also in Nigeria. That was what happened. Many people, many people. You know, will come and tell you, but that man did not say he will, that, that Peter Obi was going to win the election. What I think was that he will be the next president. Obi went to court until today. Tinubu is where he is and he's giving us a lot of pains. Well, anyway, thank you very much and God bless you. Remember that um, you don't have to show anything. Don't show off. That, that, that's the problem with this generation. Don't show off. I want to ask you people. Now, no matter how much we seem not to like these older pastors, pastors like uh, uh, Pastor E. A. Deboye, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi, Bishop Oyedeko, who else? Maybe Michael Konko, Bishop Michael Konko, maybe Dr. Paul Enenche, um, and a host of others. How many times have you actually seen them? wasting their precious time trying to prophesy about who will be the president of America. You see? And they have not come out to disgrace themselves. No matter what you, what you think about them, in this aspect, they have decided to respect themselves and stay away from this false limelight that these people are running after. I hope that this video blesses you. If it blesses you, please share and correct the false information and also let those who, who you know who don't know know the truth behind the whole thing if you didn't get anything there if you didn't get anything from the video get that god is not a parrot he doesn't talk so much but does he speak oh our god speaks but he doesn't he will not say one thing today and say another thing tomorrow it's not flip, flippy you know um um flappy floppy it's not flippant it doesn't change mood just you know because they attacked Ronald Trump he, he, uh, you know God has a, a mood uh, swap he just changed his mood changed his mind immediately hmm well thank you very much and God bless you I'll be seeing the next video till then from me to you Shalom <laughs>